Alright, we are back. We are back in the land of Skyrim. <clears throat> and we are in the middle of a dungeon looking for another dragon mask. Which is pretty cool. I think that's what we have here. Is our uh, dragon mask. So we're looking for something similar. So it's, you know, should be an uh, artifact of great power. However, it's not been an easy run. It hasn't been an easy dungeon run. It's been one of the harder ones in the game, in fact. It's... So that's leading me to believe that maybe by the time we get to where we need to get to, it'll be worth it. So, oh. All right. Let's go this way. I feel like we have to get in there somehow. Hear something. Yeah, we are in a dragon cultist lair where they uh, self suicided to prevent their secrets from being found, and then they poisoned the well and killed all the people that came in after them. So it's and they're also in a Draugr tomb, so we have undead dragon cult or ghost dragon cultists and uh, Draugrs. I'm having a little bit of difficulty with my mouse. I think, fortunately, though, it's my mouse pad, which would be the least expensive option for me to replace. This is not really working well on the surface, I don't know. Let's see. Pretty big brazier. Brazier. Looks very mystical. A little garden going on there. Okay, so that's where that door leads. These guys are hard to kill. <laughs> uh, this thing. They have a lot of soul gems rigged up as like uh Perhaps. Got here. Ooh, an ebony shield. That's pretty cool. A bucket.
he thinks we have to find a way in there. Well, this one will not be easy, I have a feeling. Isn't it? I have to loot the bias to see if there's a key or something, but it's gotta be some l l lever somewhere. York, we knew thee well. Ooh, might be valuable. I didn't miss that. I don't know. Ah, uh, no wasted our lock picks. Oh well. I'll think more carefully next time. Every three seconds, there's like a Death Lord, or I forget the other, the Scourge. There's like the, the two high level Draugr types, and they're like every three steps. Like, it's crazy. Sweet Prince. The angels carry you to your resting place. Alright, I'm guessing the Golden Claw is going to come into play here because these passages are just trying to look a lot more familiar. Okay, first of all, let's just examine the claw itself. Wolf, Owl, Snake, maybe? Maybe it's the other way around? It's a little tricky. There's 
a little chilly in there. Oh, good old rock eye. Guessing it's your mask that we're after. I wonder how many dragon masks there are. Or if there are how many we can actually are in the game that we can physically use. Be very interesting to knowledge. Um Jeez Louise man, take a chill pill. Take a chill pill every day. Soon you will be at the end. Free. Oh my gosh. It's just goofy. I don't know how we're supposed to get out of this one, gang, to be honest. some pretty cool armor some more dwarven gear the dwarven sword there nice. oh maybe we can slowly clean them so we're not locked in the chamber so we have a chance that we're not uh, rat in a trap or something. Okay, so we're taking them out a little bit at a time. Days are numbered. Sweet, we did it. Little little wit goes a long way. Increases stamina by seventy points. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, I think ours probably the same thing, but magic. The magic magica regenerates 100% faster. I kind of favor ours, so I don't mind giving the guy the mask, but it's still pretty cool. Like, if we were a thief, that wouldn't be like a bad option. Or an acrobat, we're like. the quick joint here. All right, to the balcony, I'm assuming. Yeah, 
Alright, let's quit the quit the adventure there. We're gonna find our dude. There's our dude, Duderino. His dudeness. sections of the stronghold. I should warn you, Coral Host is quite fond of adventures. Who is that talking to another adventure? It's funny. Wait, it's haunted? I... <laughs> Wait, who in blazes is this? Oh, uh... <laughs> hey. Hold on, I, I, I can explain. <laughs> Foul, you rat. You're not a soldier at all. Must be one of the Thalmor. Never Here we go! Here. How, how come they're both attacking me? Jeez. Some Thalmor shenanigans. Yeah, she was pretending to be a uh, imperial, I think. Let's take a look at his journal. It's kind of curious. It is up to guessing no good. Balmer's orders. You will proceed to the ruins of Boral Host to retrieve the mask from the Dragon Cult there. If you are discovered, impersonate an officer. It is unlikely that anyone from Skyrim will be clever enough to see through the disguise. Once you have obtained the mask, bring it to Labyrinthian. Hmm. Well, that's that. Now, what were we doing? I think we were on a companion's quest. The companion's quest, I guarantee, is going to be a lot easier. But I think that was a worthy side quest, and we got, like, quite a bit out of it. Speaking of which... Should skedaddle. Actually, to... Let's go to Morthal. Should be. Little more or Markarth, I should say, Morthal. Oh my gosh. A dragon does not look happy, it does not look like a giddy dragon. It does not look filled with, filled with joy. Um, gentlemen? respect the law and you disrespect me. Vindral Hall, Vindral, Vindral Hall, our home way from home, our home way from Winstead Manor, where we are keeping, I thought we were, if I remember right, yeah, we were keeping our dwarvish stuff here, dwarvish stuff. I don't think Dwarvis armor is quite as good as Ebony armor, but it's up there. Um, this looks cool. Yeah, we almost have a full set of Ebony armor, which is pretty insane too. Just gonna take this just in case.
It's pretty sweet, but. I think we just need the ebony gloves and we'll be all set. That's pretty pretty wild. It's pretty imposing. Let's kind of see what the dwarven armor looks like while we're here. Just for for giggles. Okay, we have the gauntlets. We have the boots. We have the helmet, we have the armor. He might actually have a full set. I'm, I think if we're missing anything. Probably have a dwarven shield back at somewhere. <laughs> oh my gosh, my mouse is giving me trouble. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's kind of got that uh, Roman Legion kind of look to it to some degree. I don't know. It's pretty sweet. It's like kind of steampunky a little bit. Tin Man meets uh, Roman Legionnaire meets Star Wars meets uh, steampunk or something. I don't know. It's pretty cool. Get our dwarven great sword. Yeah. The Emperor of Skyrim. Okay. These are dark times, my friend. Dark times indeed. I, I don't know what you're talking about. We, we were there. I mean, we didn't one shot kill him. I, I don't know. I. Right, so that was a fun little detour. It took a little bit longer than I thought, but I th think that the uh, the booty was worth it. We sure got our share of uh, interesting loot. And the shot of air away. It's like get off of me with your clunking armor. Like that better when you were a mage. Um. Yeah, maybe this way. Maybe, maybe babies. Mayhaps per se, or sooth. I may. <laughs> There's three individuals. Oh, I'm guessing Dawn Guard. It's like starting all over again because we're so far behind. And 
we have a friggin' priest staff, which is pretty cool. Yeah, maybe back to the Mesa Mullet Ball. I'll get a little sense into him. Gotta have just pretty, pretty decent muscles in our uh, arm to carry this like one handed mace. Is freaking huge. There's just slacker. Jeez. I'm just curious real quick if we have a... Well, how close are we? Oh man, we're way off. I don't know how we're supposed to get over there. It's a little, a little nuts. So let's go ahead and head back to Winstead Manor. Indeed, where the caviar flows like wine. have a dwarven something here. Mm. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I'll go ahead and take that. Dwarven shield there. It's all a little rusty, but cool. I should have a dwarven weapon here somewhere. So much stuff. Holy cannoli. Gotta get this organized someday. Already have a great sword. Dwarven sword of devouring. I think Dwarven Army is pretty heavy, though, for all their innovation. I get it, I get it. Alright. Weapons. Yeah, pretty cool. Page right out of Dwemer history. So uh, we're going to go ahead and end it there. I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you guys very much for choosing to watch my channel. I'm extremely grateful. 
um if you guys choose to do so and uh subscribe that'd be amazing um if you like the videos please give them a like and uh yeah if you have any friends that like uh open world i do open world rpgs and i do um uh sometimes the occasional adventure game um yeah it'd be super cool if you give a, a recommend all right well i look forward to seeing you guys next time for another adventure in skyrim